Hello you developers, welcome to another lesson. Today we are going to cover layouts in G. In a previous lesson, I explained that the index.php has all the HTML that this view has, but that's not true. The index.php has only this body section. It does not have this navbar and this footer. This navbar and this footer are shared by all the views, by login, contact, about, and whom. All of them share this layout. So this navbar and this footer are in our layout files. So let's go check that out. You can find out the layout files that you have in views layouts directory. The default layout file that we have that he provides is this main.php. It has it regis it has all the things that we need. We ha it has the meta tags, it has the title, and we have a navigation bar and a container div and all our contents goes inside this container div. So this content is where we load our index.php or our view file about us about.php or contact.php. Alright. So before that we have this breadcrumbs and alert widget. And next we have this footer section. So now uh, we can also have a secondary or a different layout file than this. To do this, let's simply create another file and save it secondary.php. I'm going to copy all the content that is in the layer main.php and I'm going to replace the footer. I'm going to remove the footer and I'm going to remove the navbar as well just so that we know that we are using this secondary.php layout. If I go and refresh, nothing happens because we didn't ask the application to change the def default layout to secondary. We can do that using in two places. First place, in the site controller, we can say this, dot, this layout to secondary. This, this refers to the object of site controller and a controller class or object has property has a property called layout and we are saying that this property value should be secondary which is the value that we have in the layouts secondary in the layouts view file okay so if you want to know more about the properties that we have on a controller you can go to the api documentation and check out the base controller here you can see the public properties that we have Right here is the layout, which is what we are using right now. All right. So that is, uh, let's go and refresh on our page and see whether we have our work done correctly. Yes, we don't see the navigation bar and we don't see the footer. That means we're using the secondary layout. Just to make sure, we'll do an H1 saying, secondary layout okay there you go all right so i mentioned that there's another way of changing the layout file and that is by using the view file right here you can see you see this commit this refers to a view object and from a view object, I can get the controller's object and change its property, layout property. So that's how we changed the, lay uh, the layout. We changed a property of the controller object. Same thing we are going to do here. We are going to change a controller's layout property. To do this, first we have the view object. So this refers to the view object. And then we can access the controller using context. This is this this dot this context refers to the control object. And then we can access the layout property and say its value should be secondary. There you go. Yeah, we got it to work. 
Let's make sure that we don't have this here. We just save and refresh. Yeah. So that is how you change layout in a application. So you can have as many different layouts as you want. For example, a layout before a user logs in and a layout after the user logs in. And you can change the different layouts that you want to use either in the action, control action, or in use in the view. All right. Think that there is no magic to it. It's just object-oriented programming. If you know object-oriented programming, ye programming is very simple. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and do, do join the Doing It Is Network. Have a good day, and thank you very much.